Hey guys, Augustine here, coming at you with a hotbar setup slash UI guide for Summoner and just everything in general. This is what I use. Someone in one of my videos asked me to make them a video about my hotbars and why I place things where I do and my UI, I guess. Um, the user is Rarest, if I said that right. R-A-R-R-R-A-I-R-E-S-T. So here you go, rarest or rarest, however you say your name. <laughs> Thanks for the support on the videos, by the way, guys. It's great. Keeps me motivated to keep making more. Anyway, here we go. So this is my thing. Let me set to focus, and then I'll talk about my HUD layout. My party frame I put up here because I often I heal quite a lot, and having it up here, I, it just it blocks a lot of view for me. So that's why I like my party frame down here. So I've got like. Everything is just underneath this pretty much, and then I've got the whole screen open, and my duty list hides when I'm in combat. And then this action bar on top here yeah, is what I use for my cooldowns, for to see when my cooldowns are up, keep track of them all. Like I know I have them on here too, but there's bigger, like bigger and see Shadow Flare and Bahamut I have on a different bar, so I know when he's ready. And Trance, and then Death Flare as well, and Contagion I have it somewhere else, so I can't see it. So that's just to track all your buffs. You can put anything on here, anything you want. And to get this up there, you go to HUD layout. And then this is, why well, don't I show you guys my actual HUD layout? Oh, don't want to move that. Use the virtual mouse and then how do we drag this? Come on. Oh, there we go. So there you can see everything. So now I have a guy, I don't know what that is. Limit, my limit bar is up there. My enemy list is over here. So the enemies come all the way over here. Is my trance gauge. Most of my job gauges I put up here, like my fairy gauge and my trance gauge and everything that I need to know is over there. My status effects are right over here, above everything. And that's my cast bar over there, right above, so I can see my cast times. My target frame over there, and my focus target is VS. This is when you focus target the boss to see what he's casting. When you maybe don't have him targeted or something for mechanics that you're doing in the fight. There's a party list down there, notice is this, I need to actually move up a little bit. And then, duty action, this is right over there, that's like the button that you need to press for all, for, um, what you call it, for Lakshmi. Uh, what else have we got in the UI, there's my pyramid, parameter bar, whatever, the health bar is down there, the action bar is up there, XP bar, you can just hide if you're 70 early. And inventory grid and gill and all that stuff I hide because it's just not necessary, you don't need that stuff. Well, I don't like it anyway. And yeah, that's my action bar set up. Let me put that back to where it was. Save that. And you see how when I hold down my buttons, it doesn't show the tooltips of all the skills, because that's very cloggy and it clogs the screen. You can deactivate that in character config. I'm not exactly sure where, but somewhere in here you can disable tooltips. And, um,. Yeah, so my action bar for summer specifically, what have we got? Where we've got rune one, oh that's rune two, because you can easily press X while moving around in combat, and then I got this on circle, just for the cast. Then my dots I have there, just because that's kind of where I've had them. And I have shadow flare over here, this is one that you can move around freely. And then my other action bar, this one is macro, so it'll place it on the target. I've got swift cast on the left. Rouse over there, Kindle over there, um, Try Disaster on that side, Diversion and my MP, well, also Aggro Dump. We've got Fister on this side, Pain Flare, Devotion, and then this obviously turns into Run 4. And then on my other action bar, like this is action bar 2, if we swap over to it, I've got Dreadwim Trance on this side, and then Bane over there. Uh, Bahamut thingy there. And what's that? That's Triumph. Oh, wait, that's Death Room Flare. There's a Rune 4 on this side as well because that's my Rune 3 keybind. At all, for when the bosses do things. And there's Raze if you need to raise someone. I got my pets both, all my pets on this side. Because I don't really use that bar too much besides for the. for the. what do you call it? Shadow Flare. See, I use the Shadow Flare macro now. You just press it and then it puts it right on the target. And then on this side we got in Kindle, we got mana shift if the healers need mana. So let's see there my party frames. You can give mana shift to whoever you want to give it to. 
and I'll be on the side if you need it for something fire related. Uh, Caster, I'll be the last one. I can remember is in what was it Alexander 10? We needed Caster. I'll be the as at the end if your DPS wasn't like amazing. <laughs> Um, what else is there? So these, I just have these skills where they are because this is how I've like got them as I leveled up and where I got used to them. I don't really have them there for any specific reasons. So put your skills where they feel most comfortable to you. And then also what I would suggest is using the quick, like quick hot bar change thingy. So if you hold down right trigger and left trigger, then it shows you that side. And if I hold down left trigger and right trigger, it shows my other side of action bar 2. So I never actually swap between action bar 1 and 2. Because I just do the quick change thingy. So I can just quickly go in and then that resets. And then you see, it's a lot easier to having to actually swap all the way around. And then what else is there? Um... There's not really much else to my action bar. And then on action bar 3, so if you hold up um, R1 and you press X on oh, my your pet action bar, obviously on the pet bar, the only real thing that I want to keep track of is this um, contagion. So I did move contagion to my actual hotbar, as you can see it there in the bottom left. So when I press L2 and R2 and then I press down on the D-pad, that's my contagion. So I actually have that on my hotbar and I have it over there to track it for when it's up again. And obviously you want to put your pet on a bay so you can use it and don't have it on sick. If you're lazy and want to not do top deeps then have it on sick. <laughs> but have it on a bay and then you can control when, to sh when she uses contagion. And what else is there about action bars? Um, so I'll, do, I'll show you my HUD one more time so you can pause the video if you want to just copy it and then get used to it. So there you can copy this, pause the screen and then copy this if you want. Um, there's my action bar, that's action bar 1, 2, oh and then we're talking about action bar 3 over here, I just have like markers, if you need to mark yourself in the fight, then I remember in A8 we had to mark ourselves for the orbs. Um, and there's silly macros that I have there. Potion for <laughs> you can put your pots of here. I normally put my pots on action bar three, like when I'm tryharding DPS pots. Put that on action bar three. And there's my mounts. And I don't know why I have in Kindle over there, but anyway. And then sprint I have on every class I have it as L2 and um, triangle on the third action bar. It's just what I've gotten used to while playing the game. Uh and that's really all there is to my action bars for Summoner. And my Black Mage one is basically the same, but I have to make a whole new video if you guys want to see my Black Mage's skills and where they are and whatever. But this is how my Summoner is set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for the support. Uh, shout out to Rarest for requesting this video. I hope it covers everything you needed to know. If you need to know something more, just let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can make another video for you. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. What can you say now?